42-year-old 911 operator. Abby Clark had two emergencies in her life. Her first emergency was the fact that she hadn't gotten over her boyfriend, Tommy who had broken up with her a year ago. Her mom was also a big part of her emergency. She was a patient who suffered from late-stage Alzheimer's disease. She got all prepped up for work. Taking care of her pretty much took up all her free time. She reminded her mother some of the things she needed to know. She knew how forgetful her mother was. She helped her mother with her medicine and complimented her. There's my number right there, in case you need to call me for anything. You don't have to tell me every time. Sometimes you forget. <sighs> and then you forget, you forget. Then, there's the second kind of emergency. The kind that came without warning. The car crash. The fire. The heart attack. The break-in. She was the actual first responder. She responded to an emergency of a mother whose son had hit his head on the diving board and not breathing. Getting the address from the lady. She got the paramedics on their way and instructed the mother performed a CPR on the boy. She guided her on how she would go about it and the paramedics came to the boy's rescue in no time. The captain of the paramedics team. Bobby ordered his team members to begin the first aid operations to revive the boy. Abby knew for a fact that as soon as help arrives, most people hang up in which the mother of the boy was not concluded. Abby knew it was all for the best that she usually don't know how it all ends. Fireman Bobby tried to talk down a lady who was so messed up and determined to take her life. From stepping off the ledge, he assured her there was hope but unfortunately, the lady jumped. Abby wondered if she felt more comfortable dealing with these kinds of emergencies than the one she had to deal with when she leave work and go home. Bobby confessed to doing some drugs and being an alcoholic to a just recruited fireman. He had lost a decade of his life, in and out of rehab, put on forced leave by the fire department and back on the job 18 months ago. He told the fireman the only way to survive the fireman job was to find a way to cope with the ones you lose. Buck's way of coping was being a sex addict. He pursued a lady with the fire truck just to have sex with her. He got to her and they kissed in the truck. The firefighters sat to eat together. Bobby warned Buck against his misbehavior. The system and the rules are not arbitrary. First infraction, two more, you're out. Wash your hands. The other firefighters were not pleased with Bobby going easy on Buck. The moment Bobby was about to serve himself some food, the fire alarm bell rang loudly. They left their food and swung to action. Abby received the emergency call of a man who had reported hearing a baby crying in the wall. He thought someone flushed a baby down the toilet. The fire and rescue team swung into action. Police Sergeant Athena arrived at the scene. She was briefed on the situation which had the theory that some kid gave birth on a toilet and tried to flush the evidence, which got stuck in a pipe. They knocked on every door and they weren't shy about going in if something did not seem right. The team opened up the wall and firefighter hand instructed no one flush their toilets as the water could drown the baby. Athena was going to locate the mother to see if the theory was correct. She traced some blood stains on the floor until she arrived at the pit the baby was flushed into. The team successfully cut down the pipes and pulled the baby out. They got the first aid on standby and performed CPR. Buck got the baby down the lobby into the ambulance. Athena found the mother of the baby, Marika, and got her to the ambulance. Buck tried refusing to take the mother of the baby in the same ambulance as him, but Athena stood her grounds. The baby and mother were rushed to the hospital where they were going to be properly administered to. Athena reprimanded Buck, telling him he does not get to choose who lives and who dies. Buck tried defending himself, but Athena gave him a last warning. Yeah, you keep making jokes. I promise you the next time you screw up, it'll be your last. Police Sergeant Athena Grant's husband. Michael decided to reveal to his children that he's actually gay when the kids demanded to know why their parents are always arguing and can't stand being in the same room together. Abby was running late, her mother's caregiver. Veronica had not arrived yet. She fed her mother with applesauce, but she seemed not to remember the taste. Veronica arrived and Abby was able to get to work. Abby received an emergency call a lady whose snake was choking her. She had the rescue department on their way. On arrival. Bobby tried getting the snake of her neck, but it was proving difficult. Hen knew it was no use as the snake had huge constriction strength. It was getting really tight on the lady's neck and Buck had no option but to cut off the snake's head with an axe. He put down the remaining body of the snake and flirted with the girl. Bobby caught Buck kissing the snake hoarder and right there, he fired him. Enough of the disrespect he had done to the firehouse and the fire department. Buck apologized but Bobby insisted he was done with the job. Hen was sorry to see him go. She knew he got some skills just not a lot of discipline. The medic team got an auto emergency. Abby responded to the call of Lily, who was home alone reporting about their residential break-in. 911, what's your emergency? Okay, okay, stay calm. What's your name? Lily. 
Unfortunately, Abby had no much details on her to track her location as they had just moved into the area. However, Abby instructed Lily to stay on phone. Abby dispatched the police unit and supplied necessary information to the police. Athena made her way to the house. Abby requested for support from the fire department and luckily, Buck was available. Buck drove the fire truck just to ascertain the location of the house. Buck got Lily's mother behind the truck preventing her from entering the house. Athena got to the house's premises. The burglars got hold of Lily. Abby knew she had to act fast. She informed the burglars about the emergency and how she had dispatched the police to their exact location. She wanted to help them escape in exchange of Lily's freedom. The burglar got on a motorcycle and Buck was quick to spray gas on him to prevent him from escaping. Lily was rescued and she's back with her mom. The police got hold of the burglar and handcuffed him. Buck commended Abby for keeping Lily in the game long enough for them to find and save her. After learning what happened from Athena, Bobby gave Buck another chance and firefighter Evan Buck Buckley learned to appreciate his job. Do well to watch it if you finds it interesting. Highly recommended.